going to be fitting the power now which is the batteries and I have this sort of toggle switch so I just undo the bottom nut and washer okay so that's the washer and nut let's bring that a little bit up higher and this slots through it's a square okay but you can, I'm going to change this to a circle but for the time being this is fine so we slot it in as you can see like this so the cables are in line with the little compartment or little slot they go into make sure your legs for your auto are have come through just make sure they're oh, in the right slots yep they're fine but they actually slot through these bits okay so we get pop that in and yeah it's just slotted in a lot better that time now we're going to get the switch pop it down into the hole it just takes a little bit to do that and you should have it through see so we're just going to just slide that on washer first like this just takes little fingers so your students will find this easier than adults probably there you go hand tighten finger tighten I should say and then I just get the plies to finish that off or we can get a small little spanner and that's it so that's fine okay so just make sure it switches on off no movement that's fine and now that's ready we'll leave that for a minute oh wait a minute we do need to show you the arms now the arms like this it has a little ridge that's the top of it up here so it's like the wrist wrist okay we just unslot it carefully and it slots in like this all right so you just get one of the long screws from your surfer kit and we we'll slot that in and what that does is try and keep the servo in the right position maybe hold it tight like this and just get it started So do that before you try and attach to the body otherwise the servo will just come straight out now there is a slot on the side slot it through there and there you go now you turn it so this part is where the notch is and the hole and of course that will fit in there now I notice when you put this in it's a bit tight so I actually pop the servo flange out and I pop that in first through onto the line with the hole and you see you've got a little bit of a ridge at the back it just gives a little bit and there you are so it's there now we know it's meant to be in that position was the last servo position which is 90 degrees straight out and there you go it's done so once you've done that you can then put the hand on you're facing that so the hand slots on as i say fold it down if it's if it's hard to move file it and then it should just easily turn like that if it's loose you can put a bit of double sided tape or in with a little bit of glue so there you go so we just finished that and now we'll go to the head okay don't forget don't forget to put your little screws in on the arms but just screw the little screws in that's it there's no it's not much 
more involved when you're doing the arms it just looks more complicated but follow these instructions and you'll find it quite fun to do okay so I'll just slot that in make sure they're in and that's it so next we're going to go to Otto's circuit board putting it in and that's it okay now we got Otto's eyes are in slotted in the um, goggles on and it was just simply slotted in make sure you got it lined up with the slots for the power and the um, USB cable for the programming now this is um, what I have done I just screwed in one screw there and one screw there so it's only two you need and that's enough and now I've actually as I said put the cables on for each of our components and we only have apart from the servos three so we have the eyes ultrasonic which can check for things obstacles in front of Otto so we're going to do this one as you see I've got them colored your cables might not be colored but just note which one it is so on this one green which is trigger is slotted into number eight at the front so signal is the first one on the front closest to the nano then we have got the echo which is number nine so that slots in number nine make sure they're slotted well then we actually slot in 10 there and then we slot in behind that at G so it's G is ground so we got 5 volts positive live black is ground at the back okay so that's on in now with this one I have the longer leads because I'm going to slot this through here and that's what we're doing right now so we're going to put it on top of Otto's head you can actually uh, slip the infrared into the side for instance uh, so we do it that way but I find it doesn't always work very well so we're now just using it on the outside so we slot it in first so we slot that through that way and so these are the longer leads you usually get the set of leads with your infrared kit turn it and that's where it's going to be and this is where this foam tape comes in useful so cut a little bit off put it on the bottom of the infrared receiver and you can slot it there and you can disguise this later but we find it useful to really show the students this is infrared it's like your te um, television and that's how it works okay so we bring these back over and these fit okay now my yellow is my signal and that will go into the front so we're actually going to work directly on 11 so we're going to put uh yeah we'll do signal first on number 11 okay and then we're going to put five volts live there that's next behind the signal on 11 and then we put ground on the very back of 11 there you go and that's it so those can be slotted with ties or whatever now the last one is the buzzer 
The buzzer you can tell it's got a little positive here you see the positive well it might have a white cross here but it's a positive that's red and black is negative but that actually slots in the red is going to go to number 13 signal at the very front okay and then we have the other one which is ground goes directly on the ground so that's how it works so that's the head that's all done okay so we'll just slot that in now next part of course we're going to be um, plugging everything in here so we have we just move these over a little bit now I tend to do the motors first the servos so we got that so number four facing or number two which is the hip or leg is that one again make sure your brown goes to the back your reds in the middle of course the orange is this side closest to the nano again this side I'm going to pop that on number three that's the right leg okay next is the feet so number feet number four which is again the left foot slot that in on number four okay that's it and again this one this is where you just got to be a little bit careful with your cables make sure that when you turn over the head and slot it in it's not going to get in the way so they all go to the back and that's number five so it's the right foot this is where your small fingers could be very useful okay slot that in make sure those are all well down and the left auto arm actually goes into number six so remember brown is your ground red is your five volts and orange is your signal and that goes into number six and it slots like that just be careful how you line up just push it back and then push it in then again we do number the right one right arm is number seven okay so that's corrected now and all we have to do now is put the power in so the power goes into here and we slot it into the JST plug and it can go one way so you can't make a mistake I think it's a good idea if you're going to adjust or sew these in otherwise just use the pins and the red always goes closest to the power now that's in we're just going to pop this all in you can use little freezer ties I call them to just um, bundle it up a bit neater make sure your tags line up and also on the back and it's your slot there you go the first time you put it together it's always going to be tight but once you've done it a couple of times it should be fine okay we're just going to turn him on now we're going to put his program for his infrared remote and then we're finished okay mm -hmm.